effect of the forced hijab on, on Iranian women's lives and the systemic government violence against women because of forced hijab? Um, hello, uh, it's a, it's an honor to be among you. Hello, uh, Jay. Honor is mine. Uh, and uh, uh, like I had the same experience as uh, Karin. I, uh, I'm not uh, like I'm still homesick. It's been a few years. I'm not used. I live. I love Canada. I'm blessed to live in this country because this country finally, as a woman, I have a voice. But uh, I'm still missing Iran every moment, and I cry a lot because I'm still missing um, people, missing like uh, miss missing the land and everything, and dream uh, like. Uh, like this, this time of year, we, we used to go skiing and I, I, every day during winter, I dream of the, like, the road to the uh, well, But as, yes, but uh, like, yes, Iranian people, first of all, uh, before I left, before I left Iran, I like when whenever I had a chance to talk to a reporter, I used to tell them, believe me, this is not what what you see in the world about the image of Iran and the Iranian people. We live like we live like you, Iranian women uh, are educated. We have a modern life, uh, and uh, we're not like the government. There are two different things, the Iran and Iranian, and also the, the Islamic regime. And um, uh, there's nothing uh, that can connect us. And we are living, as Parim said, we are living in two different lives. We we always have to lie. We, have, we always have to pretend to be someone else uh, because of the government, because they ask us to do. And believe me, when they arrested me, the second time I, I got arrested, they, they they uh, sent me to see uh, the uh, the um, the deputy of like he was the uh, second prosecutor of Tehran, and he told me, "Go abroad when you go like out of Iran in your trips, like be naked, do whatever you want, but not in Iran. When you are here, you need to wear a hijab." Uh, when you go abroad, just you can you can be naked. It it doesn't have to to do anything with us. But hijab is not just wearing um, scarf and covering your face. It hijab for for Iranian women is the symbol of uh, suppression. Is the symbol of systematic violence. I didn't want to be to have fear all the time. I didn't want to be scared when I'm out. Because anybody, not just the government, not just the morality police, who are so brutal, apart from them, these there are the uh, the leaders, followers, and fundamentalists. They can do anything they want with the with women, and that's scary. We always had the like have the fear, uh, like the, the shadow of fear on on our shoulder, and that's what I I didn't like it about the hijab. The, the, the 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 facing violence every day and apart from that because of hijab there are, there were many women including me that we couldn't be involved uh, in society as as much as we wanted because we couldn't wear their ideal uh, like um, the ideal type of hijab to wear like chador and uh, like cover our whole body. We couldn't do that. It wasn't us. So like we never think of those jobs, those dreams to be involved in the government, to be involved in politics, to, to be a lawyer. Even I love to be a lawyer, but I was thinking I have to go to the courts every day. I can't, I, I'm not that person. I cannot do that. So there are many, many women, millions of women who cannot have the, the roles they, they can have in society because of this kind of hijab. It's just right. women with chador, 
who can who get to like go to do to those places and um so um it's well, we're we're, we're uh, uh, um, extremely lucky as Canadians to have you uh, in our country and, and we'll do everything we can, although it's not home, to make you feel uh, at home. And, and what I could tell you is um, your dream of being a lawyer in a way has been fulfilled uh, by, by playing the role of fellow at our Raoul Wallenberg Center for Human Rights. In many ways, you're doing much more for society than 90 percent of the lawyers out there and i speak as a lawyer when i say that so uh you're deeply deeply appreciated uh shaparik and i want to let you know that that we we all recognize that 